The bathroom is absolutely gorgeous until you look up here. Our skylight um, has a double layer and somehow all of this nasty gunk has gotten between the two layers. So today's project, we, and by we, I mean my husband, are going to get this all cleaned out and make that look sparkling and wonderful. Stay tuned. In this episode, we're going to talk about resealing our skylight in our shower. And the first step that you have to do, of course, is take off this cover. It's held on by several screws, and so we're just going to take those right off real quick. And then this thing will come off. Now, the good thing about this is that and as we take this off, we can see that it really didn't, uh, there's no leak that occurred in this area, in the shower area at all. Praise the Lord. So, uh, so the only thing we have to do is just come up. We can see that this right here is already pushing up. And so we know that there's not a good seal on that. So okay. that's our project. Next, we got to go up on the roof and clear all that stuff out. And then we'll be ready to re-put down all the new glue and everything that needs to go on. And here's a quick safety tip. It's a whole lot faster to set your stabilizers and to chalk your wheels than it is to spend the rest of the afternoon in the emergency room. So for sure, whenever you're gonna be up on the roof, make sure you've got your rig as stable as you can possibly make it. Meanwhile, while he's pulling everything out, I've assembled all of the supplies that I think he will need when he gets up on top of the roof. So that would be a Phillips head and flathead screwdriver because you always need the other one. A hammer, um, a scraper, a few microfiber cloths, some all-purpose cleaner, his brand new drill that he got for fire, Father's Day, and then a container that he can put water in as he scrubs. And here's a, just a quick tip as well. We've got lots of microfiber cloths, but the green ones are the ones that he uses outside. So that way I can keep the ones separated. All right, so here I am on top of the roof. It looks in fairly, really good shape. I'm gonna reseal it later on uh, before we take off from this location anyway but I wanted to make sure that we got this taken care of so this is what we're dealing with today and uh, I'm gonna chip away all this away and then I'm gonna take everything apart and uh, we're gonna take everything apart from here and then we're gonna reseal everything okay one of the things I did up here is I brought a rug up here uh, that I can set my tools on and so I don't want to damage the roof in any way because then there would be an additional problem. And so I just brought the essential uh, scale uh, already. Uh, took a picture of those and to show you those things, but this is probably the most important thing right here is to get all this loose stuff off. And this is not hard. It's not, the, the sealant is not hard. It's actually very soft. And so, um, so I'm gonna try and work as fast as I can this off. See how that just peels right on off like just like that? Look at that. It's just peeling right off. It's uh it's old. And so you see right here, right? Look at the look at this. This is how uh, it's just uh it's not good at all when you can you can just peel all this stuff off with your hand and I can feel the the wetness in there. Now the other thing too is that 
because this is a membrane right here this this is a membrane the, the roof is a membrane you want to be careful that you don't damage the membrane you want to be careful you don't dig in with one of these and uh, eventually you know uh, damage the roof in some way because then you have to deal with that also so just be careful as you're going working around it looks like it's going to be fairly simple I'm going to show you as we go what it looks like it's a good thing I did here look at this I got to here and and you can see the cracking right there and the moisture. So what happened is that they put, this probably leaked at some particular point, and instead of just redoing the whole entire thing, they, you can see where they added on this extra, uh, extra stuff, but it really didn't seal, uh, seal it. So uh, this is why we have the problem in here now. So I'm gonna finish taking all this off. So I found the culprit. There's a crack right here. And you can see right here where the water, there's water right in those, where those screws are at. And so this seal was not good. And you can see how they screwed this on and it's kind of like a wafer kind of a deal. So uh, we're going to have to probably replace this piece once I get it off. Alright, I just was able to pull that off. You have to get up underneath with your uh, tool right here and kind of just kind of shift your way around the opening. And you can see right here where there was some water leakage right here. And so I am certainly glad that we got that up and out of the way. And, and this thing is uh, has water all inside of it. Oh, hi. How are you today? Because remember me telling you that there's a membrane. This is the membrane that I'm talking about. This is what your roof is actually is, and then you put a coat of stuff on top of it, which we're going to show you in a later video of how we're going to do that. But right now it's got to be all cleaned up, and uh, and so that's what I'm going to start doing now. Be careful, you don't get on this membrane and you don't mess up this membrane because this is vitally important to make sure you have no other leaks. And so I'm going to clean this out, let it dry out some, and then we're going to hopefully have a new piece today. That we can put on. Okay, folks. So here is our dilemma. They Houston, are not. We made, have a problem. Uh, they no longer make what we have because our RV is 21 years old. So uh, we have what we got from the store is, of course, this plastic top right here. But we also have this piece right here that goes on the inside just like that which is perfectly fine we can do that except on the top you're going to see that right there so we're going to retrofit this whole system so it will be it will look much better from the top and the bottom so what will happen eventually is this is that we're going to flip this around it's going to be sitting on the upside, but we're going to we're going to trim this piece off right here, so that it will set up there. So we'll have this looking nice when when you're on top of the roof, in case we sell the rig or whatever the case may be. So we want it to be trimmed out really nicely. So we're going to retrofit it, and so uh, we need to get cutting. some caulking around this and so we're going to screw it in a little bit later but first we need to put this on we put the tape around it to kind of create a good seal and so it's going to go right there like that and then we will caulk around it once we uh, once we get it screwed on okay folks we're back on the roof and uh here's what it looks like from on top we this is our retrofit right here, and you see how nice that looks going all the way around. You don't see a whole bunch of wood and everything, so from the top it looks great. And then also, um, we're going to be putting on this cover that goes just like that. But before we do so, 
uh, we have to do some prep work first. And the first thing we have to do is put this tape around uh, where the uh, where the holes are going to be, where we screw this down at. All right, as you can see, I'm putting the screws in now, and. Uh, Getting those screws in there so that it'll be all taken care of. Okay, folks, as you can see, I got all the screws in and the tapes down, and now is the time to seal this up. As you can see, there's kind of like a little spot right there, a little spot right there, but it's gonna take a little bit of sealant to go on these, specifically for this type of roof, the RV roof. And so, uh, and so we're gonna put this down and seal everything up. As you can see, folks, I went really liberal with the sealant uh, just to make sure uh, we had no problems. And so it's completely and totally sealed now. It's going to self-level a little bit more further out. And but that is our new that's our new skylight right there. It took a little bit longer um, because we have an older RV and we had to retrofit. Well, that's it for us today. Hey, we want to do a huge shout out to our buddy Jeff here at Apache Village in Hazelwood. And uh, we'll have all of their contact information down below. But they have walked us through so many issues, especially the skylight. But it seems like anything I need to know, this guy knows the answer. They know it all. They know it all here. So that's all right. All right. We'll see you soon.